Alright, this is a another drone review. I have this new camera drone I got in December. It's April now. And I know this review is a little late, but I decided to do it because this is a really, really nice quadcopter. Now, first this is the drone. It comes with a frame around it to protect the blades, but I found that it saves more battery time and has less wind resistance when you take it off. <sighs> and since I'm, I consider myself experienced, I do not need it. Now, first of all, it has this HD camera in the bottom. And it comes with this for USB. Now, mine has, it. it's a regular USB, but the metal part came off. I don't know why. And it works just the same. And comes with a 2 gigabyte memory chip that goes into the camera. Right here. Now, what you'll see is they have it. They comes with extra blades and extra gears for the motors. And I've crashed this a bunch of times, and I've never had to replace anything on it ever. So I think, I think that's a cool thing to note. It comes with two batteries. However, it, a tipped a, t a tip to use is not to grab it by the wires and grab it by this or this because. I have broken a battery by ripping the wires out on accident. The battery goes in here, and I'm trying to do this with one hand. Has a bunch of these LEDs, which I'll show you in a minute when we go outside. Um, comes with this charger that has the option to cho charge both batteries at once. It's USB. All right, now the controller. You just switch it on, and has multi trims for each stick now the function will flip the drone in any direction that you move this the speed will in speed mode one which it's in now won't move the drone very fast it's very it's a very f level drone because it's supposed to take nice pictures the second speed it'll tilt a little bit more so it'll be better in windy conditions the camera is just to take a still picture and the video recording well well video record and that's about it with this. The left one will activate the lights, and the right one will flip it again. Just a, basically the function button. Alright, now let's take it outside and see how it is. Alright, so we're outside now. It's a little windy. I have turned the drone on. Uh, these are all the LED lights it has in the bottom. Now it has one front LED light to give you kind of a headway of where you're going. And to turn that off, you just press right here. Nope, wrong. Press this one. Oh, well. To activate the drone, you put this up and pull it down. You'll hear that two beeps and it'll be on. Now this, you can see the front light. The front light is controlled by the right one, my bad. Now, I'll leave that off just to save as much battery as I can. Uh, the controlling is pretty normal. Up and down will is the throttle. Side to side, we'll move it side to side. And this is forward, backwards. It is not headless. Alright, now uh, I'll switch you to the drone view.
camera itself has audio as well, so I guess you can tell that by the annoying sound of the blades. Hey, whoa, guys. Whoa. Horses don't like drones. Ugh. One last tip, I have crashed this into a creek for maybe 20 seconds, enough for the entire thing to get wet. I immediately pulled out the battery and pulled out the memory chip because I want to get some of that. Um, I tried to, I flung it around, tried to get all the loose water off and let it dry and there was nothing wrong with it at all. There was, I mean this, it didn't have the cover on it, The this was, per, once it dried out it was perfectly fine. The drone had no damage whatsoever from the water, and I got the full video coverage of going in the water. So if you check out my late, my earlier videos, you'll see the one at the end where it crashes into the creek. So I, just, I thought that was a nice note, and that's one of the reasons I decided to make this video, is because it's such an amazing drone that it even survived crashes, water crashes, and is still fine. So thank you all for watching.